I love this so much. I love him. I made this. <laughs> so today's winner of uh, Project Soapway Challenge number one, our Apple Challenge inaugural kickoff thing, is one of my favorite humans on the planet. And I know that I said that for Soaps on Stone, but it's true for both of them. And I love her in ways that I can't even like put into words. She's incredible. And her soap, which, you know, is the point of all of this. The soap was picked, not the human. Just a really happy bonus that the human is also awesome. Is incredible. And I was cuckoo bananas blown away by this soap. And so when she got selected and I, you know, did the juried thing with all of the people that have to decide based on the blind submissions, I was super looking forward to getting her footage so I could see how she accomplished this warlock because it is, in fact, quite the warlock. And I will tell you more about the warlock and the amazing human that made it in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for week two of 365 days of soap week 52 things. Yep, that. And uh, winner number two of the Apple challenge for Project Soapway. Now, quick recap of the challenges. In year three, we are going to be focusing on the Sudzers. A lot of our content is Sudzer driven this year because I want to take the audience that we have all built here and that, you know, exists here at Soap and Clay with all the Sudzers and use it for the greater good of all of the Sudzers, really. And so I came up with this idea to do a challenge, kind of like Amy Warden Soap Challenge and things like that, but in video format, because this is the medium that we're on, the YouTube video, and showcase the Sudzers and all of their amazing soapy skills and probably lotiony and bath bomby and all the things, skills. And so all of the challenges will be different. There will be some that are going to be technical challenges. There will be some that will be recipe based. There will be some that are designs, all different things. And when the submissions come in, they come in blind. I don't know who set them. And I sit down with my jury pool and we decide who the winners are. And this one is number two. This is the second winner of the Project Soapway Challenge for the Apple, you know, theme. And I love this human. Oh, by the way, this human is uh, Fizzly Bath Treats is the name of the company. And the owner of Fizzly Bath Treats is one of my moderators here on the YouTubes, and she is an extraordinary human just across the board. She's also one of the younger Sudzers. She's not the youngest Sudzer in the, you know, thing, but she is one of the youngers, and I love her like a kid sister. And, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's very interesting how we have just like this really wide age range of Sudzers from, you know, 18-ish to, you know, into their 70s and 80s. It's wild. It's across the board. And don't get me wrong, I love all of the age ranges, but it is nice to have, you know, some Sudzers around that understand what memes are and it quite enjoyed, you know, watching Vines because, you know, I did that thing too. So yes, Kaylee is amazing. Fizzly Bath Treats is amazing. That just reminded me that I have a package to open from her. I bought some stuff so i'll try to get that before this is all over and i can see what you know it all is live and in person pre-record so it's not quite live it's live for me this exact moment though anyway 
Fizzly Bath Treats, Kaylee, she is an amazing soap maker, and this soap is really freaking cool because she had a really fun spooky twist on the apple theme, and I was here for it. One of the other reasons I was super here for it is because she used uh, glow-in-the-dark stuff within her soap, and she wanted certain parts of it to glow. And so that's really cool because I don't actually play with glow-in-the-dark, like, at all, and it's cool that she's experimenting and trying. So. Let's get to the video and I will fangirl gush over her like the entire time because I stan her so hard. Like you don't even know. I am her biggest stan. If she ever does a YouTube channel, I, I'm number one super fan. But anyway, let's get to the video so I can do that, you know, more. But you have something else to look at other than my face. Okay, so today we are watching Fizzly Bath Treats, Kaylee. I, I, I stan her so hard. Yep, we are watching her make a, her submission for the Apple Soap Challenge. And it is a warlock. And I am not kidding. I saw the finished product of all of this and I wondered, I, I, I wondered if this was hers. And then it was confirmed once I had selected the winners and announced that, yep, it, it was hers. And I was very interested to see how she managed to make it because first up, it is made with a apple cinnamon streusel and apple cider. So that is so fun. So we're all going to see that together, really, while we check out her awesome soaping skills and talk about her and her company, Fizzly Bath Treats, that she created and, and did the thing. And you see the little drip on the counter, by the way? Now she's not immediately wiping it away. Yeah. She's a messy soaper like me, and I'm here for that. I mean, it's just a drip. It's not that big of a deal. But anyway, so yeah, Fizzly Bath Treats. Kaylee is on the younger side, and uh, she actually launched the company oh, about a year ago, just over a year ago, I think. I think it was June 2021. I think that's right. It's just over a year ago, right? Whatever. I don't know times. But she did so really because she found herself getting way too into, I think, uh, bath bomb products from Lush and whatnot, because baths are part of her very big self-care. And she started tinkering around with bath bombs and all the things, and then moved into a full-fledged soap company where she's also doing all of these soapy things as well. And she's great at all of them. She has such a cool mind when she approaches a subject, right? Like, as an example, in her bath bomb line, she did a Disney-inspired, a princess-inspired bath bomb line recently. And while she, she was smart, essentially, about skirting around the copyrights and doing all of the things in the way that she named her bath bombs, but also the way that she designed them, absolutely stunning. And her copy, like what she wrote about them, was perfect. Yeah, so as we watch her make some messes here, because this gets messy, it, it's it's delightful. I'm going to actually read one of her copy things for one of her Disney-inspired princess bath bombs, which is a gorgeous teal with a beautiful gold mica drizzle thing. I think I'm going to actually put this in the in the video so I just screen capped it and her copy for it says Jasmine is a bright and colorful bomb inspired by calling out your country's misogyny getting on flying carpets with strange men and falling in love with homeless guys who lie to you come on that that's so clever that's so amazing and so like there are other bombs that she named like Ella and you know talks about essentially you know describing Cinderella without getting hit for, you know, oh, you used, you know, a trademarked character, name, thing. Absolutely brilliant. And I love that. I find that so clever and just such a cool approach to the bath bomb, you know, world and the soaping world and all of the other things that go into running a business, which is hard. You know, it's not just the making of the soap. It's the naming of the soap. It's the promoting of the soap. It's all the things. And she's so beautiful. And this is so wild. Like, what are we... We're just, we're just swirling away, we're do, doing some stuff. Now we're going to sculpt some stuff. I, 
I'm just gobsmacked. Like, all right, there's so much going on here. But yeah, no, everything about the way that she approaches it is chef's kiss. And I love that because it just, it makes sense with the kind of person that she is. And it's one of the reasons why I relate to her so very much because she goes big with everything, right? If she's going to do something, she's going to do it right. And, but oftentimes she finds herself incredibly overwhelmed and frustrated that she's overwhelmed by it because in order to do things right with a one man show, trying to run a business and do literally all the pieces is in fact overwhelming as shit. And so she will do much like I do every once in a while. And she will just, you know, crawl into her little bubble and process all of the, you know, the too muchness that's going on within her or around her or, you know, the, in, in these instances, her, you know, problems, quote unquote, that she's created for herself. She had to be perfect at the thing. And it's not defeatist, right? She doesn't give up because the easiest thing would be to just give up, be less perfect. She doesn't do that. She trudges on. She finds a better way to do it the next time or, you know, finds more systems to, you know, work smarter, not harder, whatever, still striving for that perfection and ultimately still finding her self-care and her empowerment within, you know, making her, her soapy products and her bath bomb products and all of the things. And I relate to that and I love that. And I love her entrepreneurial spirit. I love that she started doing this. I love that she's taking the plunge and making the videos and doing the things. And, you know, she has threatened me with a good time and said that she's going to start a YouTube channel. And so I hope she does because, you know, I will be her biggest stand. This just confirmed. Fizzly Bath Treats, biggest stand. And everything about this, again, as I said, is chef's kiss, which totally makes sense because she actually used to decorate cakes. She's done so many things in her, you know, short life. And she's also been through so many things in her short life that I don't, like, obviously I'm not, we're not telling stories. This isn't like a tea session, but, you know, they're hers to tell. But the things that she shared with me, because we talk, you know, daily. She's one of my people that I go to when I need sanity. And, you know, I've learned stuff about her. And honestly, a lot of it, I, I look at the stuff that she's experienced in life and the life that she's led and all of the different adventures that she's had or the heartbreaks or whatever. And I sometimes forget that she's not like an old wizened, you know, person, like age wise. She's got like a wise soul, but not in a like all knowing super Gandalf the wizard wise soul, right? Cause she's still super fun and funny and, you know, enjoys video games and all of the, it's, it's amazing. Like she is an incredible person and her making skills are like so many of ours, just a reflection on her personality and the things that make her, you know, fun and awesome and intrinsically her. And it, that includes, you know, messy soap sometimes. Although to be honest, if I were doing this, my entire counter would have been completely covered in a lot of soap batter with all of that scraping. But wow, wowie wow, what wow. wow. L look at all the glitter. I, I told you that she used to decorate cakes, right? Yeah. She's, she's got this decoration thing on lock. And it's just, it's so much glitter and she's, she's bold. I mean, I think it's just a mica. It's a mica, but it looks sparkly. You get it. She's bold. And this is not even like the coolest part about all of this soap. Like it's cool that she's doing this cool apple theme and you know, it's like a wicked apple, but we really have to see the finished product. So let's go check out the cutting of this beauty. Okay, now on to the cut of this, and we all saw it. We all saw it come together with, you know, a lot of really just, I mean, you put some black and some red and some green in there, and then you swirled it around some, and then you, you know, did some sculpting, and then you poured another batch of soap on top of it, and you put in some embeds, and okay, so what is this? What's the big deal? What vision were you going for with all of this? And the thing that I put at the beginning, uh, when she started, you know, squealing and saying, she did a good job not 
talking. Oh my God. She did a really good job not talking and or editing out her voice throughout her video. But apparently she forgot to do that for the cut part because in this moment she was looking at this and saying, you know, what I put in at the beginning of the video, you know, I, I made this. I love this. I made it. And I broke at that moment. Like, yes, you did. Yes, you did. You are a queen and you, you made this, you did this. And just seeing that level of, Hey, I'm going to pat myself on the back. I'm proud of this thing that I did come from any Sudzer, certainly, but certainly to hear it in her, you know, natural habitat while she is cutting a bar of soap or a loaf of soap in the moment is just everything, especially for someone like Kaylee. Like, again, we're, we're a lot alike in that we're pretty hard on ourselves. And she, she was proud of herself and I'm proud of her. Look at that. That is so beautiful. And my mind wouldn't have made this. Like I wouldn't have been able to translate this to, you know, a soap bar form. So she has the eyes and the nose and all of the scraping and the swirling was to do like kind of a, it almost looks like a skeleton head, like half of a skull, right? Like the jaw is gone. So there's the red and the green and the black to be like sort of the, where the jaw would be. And it's like a poisoned apple type thing. It's so gorgeous. And we're not even done just on itself. Looking at it like that, it's beautiful, right? It's perfect, but we're not done. As soon as we finish the cutting of it, she's going to show us the rest of the 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 awesomeness because she likes playing around with glow in the dark and i am interested after all of this because it's so freaking cool and yeah this is this is her this is this is her and she she sets out for absolute perfection and she breaks herself in 19 million different ways and she achieves it and then for the next round she learns to be easier on herself and still achieves it and so she's growing every day and she helps me grow every day and we all get to grow together i guess is the point of all of that but stunning i again just like fizzly bath treats has been in you know business for just over a year soaps on stones in business for just over a year and i am blown away by these skills i don't think they realize it but they have skills that most soap makers do not have Holy, look at that. That is so amazing. Oh my God, how perfect is that? And there it is, a spooky, unbelievably cool twist on the Apple theme. And I love that the glow in the dark stuff worked and it made me want to try my hand at glow in the dark stuff. So I'm sure you're going to be seeing stuff from me soon too as well. But everybody go. I dropped it in here, but also in the description box below. Go give Fizzly Bath Treats some love on every possible place that you can find them by clicking the things and, you know, also tell her what an amazing job she did because it is an amazing job. Everything about that soap was so fun and it was so fun watching it come together. I'm like, how? I still don't, I don't get it. And I also love that she's a messy soaper, you know, that I, I definitely get behind that as well. I did, while I was talking, I opened up uh, her package and first up, first up these, they are so cool. They're, they're gummy bear bath bombs. The kids are gonna go cuckoo bananas for these. I didn't order them, but I had mentioned that I liked them and she didn't have them available. And so I'm hoping that these were just old ones that she hadn't, you know, gotten rid of or whatever. And she didn't make an extra batch to go with my order. But I have no idea. And um, also, Kaylee, I'm sorry that it took me so long to open up your soaps. I just, I order stuff from the Sudsers all the time and hold on to that for, but this was the one that I really was excited to purchase because it is so beautiful. Like it's just a gorgeous bar of soap and the packaging on it, it's called Striped Sweater. And I was hooked just based on the actual, you know, the look of the bar and everything on her website but the packaging is so thought out like she had she's done such a smart job with the packaging itself right it's very clean it's very simple but she's thought about it in every way that it could possibly be 
displayed or on a shelf if you are doing you know events or whatever and then you know the back has her ingredients list it's very very smart packaging and i love it i love every attention to detail and she certainly has that and plus you know again it's a bar of soap that is titled striped sweater and it looks like a striped sweater and i love sweaters hey my sweater is striped it works it's totally perfect but yes uh kaylee congratulations on winning uh life because you win at life but also on being one of the winners for the very first uh project soapway challenge also congratulations and thank you very much for naming uh project soapway because i'm pretty sure it was you I keep giving you credit, so if it's not and it was somebody else, please let me know. But thank you for submitting and participating and existing and being awesome and taking a chance and filming. Because I know that that's a complicated thing to do. I know it's a scary thing to do. You did a great job. And leaving in the squealing part and using that as the beginning of the video, I think was perfect because um, I love seeing the joy. That's what this is all about right i understand that feeling all too well the experiencing a cut and loving it and i love that you loved it and it made me just cry so thank you and i hope you're okay with me using that because I, I already did it it's already done so there's that but yes everybody that submitted thank you so much for having done so thank you to all the sudsers who are watching and doing the things thank you all just for existing and being cool and Another huge big thank you to Kaylee and Fizzly Bath Treats for doing the things. I am out of here for today. I'm going to go check out the rest of this package actually and probably film an Instagram video for it because that's why I hold on to the orders that I place with the Sudzers. Just leave them because I want to open them up for an unboxing. But now it's unboxed so I got to go do the thing. But I will see you guys all again in two days for the final submission of the Project Soapway winner challenge thing. Soapy fun. Bye.